I'm Tatiana Kirkop, I come from Malta. Um, I did the BA Honours in English with the University of London. Um, I graduated in 2005. I worked as a musician there and as a teacher of uh, music and uh, uh, government school, the music school in Malta. And then what happened? Um, basically, the orchestra was disbanded, it was closed down in 1997 probably. And well, I started thinking, okay, so the government decided to close this only orchestra, what am I going to do? I said, okay, I'll go back to studying. I want a stable job, I want a good salary, and uh, sort of I want to put my mind at rest that I will always have a job. Successful tips, okay. Uh, so there's, there's a vast syllabus. It's a beautiful syllabus. I love that syllabus. Um, there's so much choice, you know, in, in the books. I always enjoyed reading classics, so um, I, I used to tell myself, okay, instead of just reading for fun, I read for study. It's the same textbook, basically. I'm taking the same time to read it, but I'm looking more in depth. So um, the success part comes in where you enjoy what you're doing. So um, possibly you can, you know, choose the, the units that you love. For example, I love novels, so obviously I chose the unit where there's the novel. Um, I love the, femin the feminist part, so I chose the female writer's unit. Um, there's, there's a vast choice. Um, so, you know, you just choose what you like, and it's very important that you enjoy what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to spend three years bored, frustrated, and not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Although you're studying, you have to enjoy it, and, and that is, I'm sure, part of my success, that I enjoyed it. I, I can't do anything that I don't enjoy, and it, I must say it was very enjoyable. So the one book I think everyone should read, that's a difficult one, eh? um, because there are so many books that are very valuable, but the one book um, was probably The Unbearable Lightness of Being, um, uh, Milan Kundera. I remember my first reading of that book. Um, it was like turning the pages and saying, okay, so it wasn't only me thinking of these things, you know, it's, it wasn't just me um, wondering about these things. Uh, it's, it's so very well written, it's, it's uh, okay, um, uh, it depends on your frame of mind, you have to go deep into, into the meaning of that book um, for study purposes, but it's, it's uh, very, very flowing. Um, it's, it's very user-friendly, if you like. You can even read it at the beach and it's, it's okay. It's like um, uh, people's consciousness being processed and it's, it's in, in a story-like format, but um, I think it's, yeah, it's uh, one thing that everyone should, it's a thin thing, a thin book. Everyone, I think, should read that, yeah. <laughs> Being an alumni of, of University of London is, um, well, an honour, I must say. It means a lot. Um, it, it's a very prestigious um, university, so <laughs> it is an honour, I must say. And I would, I would recommend the university to, to anyone because um, that is something that will stay with you all your life. Uh, it's not just, you know, you do a two-week course and it's over and done with and you barely get a certificate. This is something that no one can take away from you. Once you get the BA, it's yours and no one can steal it. It's, it's not just the paper, the, the certificate, it's something inside. Um, so, you feel it, you know, it fills you up somehow. <laughs>